Yes, someone has <laughs> definitely overindulged in the apple martinis. Right, where is it? We, we don't need to decide where we're sitting until we get to where we're going to eat. We have such a problem that we don't know if we sit inside. Mm. Un air conditioned inside. But it's not like it's taken us a long time I mean, to outside, decide previously. Outside, unconditioned air. It's That's not like part. it's taken us a long time to decide previously when we've got to the restaurant as to where we're going to eat. <sighs> Thank you. So, the humble abode for the next nearly 10 days. 10 days, I think. Yeah, nine nights we're here for. So, nice little comfortable room. Really, really comfortable bed. Uh, that's been tested out already for an afternoon nap. And uh, yeah, quite happy to take that back to the UK with me. TV in the corner, not that that's ever really going to get used. Nice little bay window seat. And uh, this is a really cool feature that I quite like. There's a hole in the floor. Obviously, it's not a hole, but there's a glass panel in the floor so you can um, see down into the sea. And uh, it's quite cool as well because there's so much sea life around here that um, we've seen like a little ray and a little black tip shark. Uh, swimming in the water under the villa which has been uh, a really nice thing to see uh, in the morning when you're waking up having your morning coffee and uh, yeah I think this is probably the favourite bit of where we're staying this is the bathroom come toilet area 
all completely outdoors with a little hammock for lying over the sea, ace for reading the book on. I haven't ordered a drink yet. What do you mean you've not ordered a drink yet? All that time. All that time. Well, in that time you can contemplate how to take a better picture of me. I've contemplated. Well, there you go. When you get a better picture of me, you can get your drink. <laughs> I'll die of dehydration then. <laughs> sunset cruise. So sunset, you say. Cruise. Sunset. Cruise. Sunset. Cruise. <laughs> I was going to go down and help you aboard. Don't ever say I'm not chivalrous. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Hopefully without the sinking bit. Oh, definitely without the sinking bit. <laughs> oh, I don't know actually. What? Tempting to sink you. <laughs> Someone's had the fun pills today. <laughs> so, is that for Martinez to put the fun inside? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, someone has <laughs> definitely overindulged in the apple martinis. Right, where are we sitting? We, we don't need to decide where we're sitting until we get to where we're going to eat. We have such a problem that we don't know if to sit inside. Unc air conditioned inside. But it's not like it's taken us a long time I mean, to outside, decide previously. Outside, unconditioned air. It's That's not like not. it's taken us a long time to decide previously when we've got to the restaurant as to where we're going to eat. <sighs> Maybe that third apple martini was um, not the smartest idea, dear. <laughs> I can see dinner's going to be a bag of laughs tonight. Oh. Oh, that's not okay. Well, I'm not going to slip there bollocking you over it. Look, it's Eid. Can we put this away and be respectful of the religion, please? What? A camera's not allowed in Islam? No. <laughs> it's not like I'm walking in there absolutely shit faced. No. But right, okay, right, okay. Eat Mubarak. I'm being told to put the camera away because I need to. But you can record, look, look how pretty it is. Yeah, all right, well, all right. Because right, right. yeah. so apparently cameras aren't allowed as part of Islam, so I'm going to be respectful and stop filming myself no, and only film other things. Just record the entrance. Yeah, yeah, what I'm doing too. Just... Yeah, make sure you get me from a, a sort of fat from a certain point up. To be honest, it doesn't matter what angle you get, it's a uh, lobster. <laughs> so you want to see a cute bathroom, so these are the bathrooms at the restaurant. How cute. Rather than get dirty towels, you even get 
individual hand towels. How are you feeling after that chili? No, there's loads of plates with chicken zartar, Chinese dim sum, egg fried noodles, and sweet and hot jus. You And uh, I've also ordered the chicken ghee box. I saw this, I forgot to tell you. So this is going to sound a little bit ridiculous, but there's no breeze today, and I didn't really appreciate how much of a effect the breeze had on making you feel comfortable out here. The, I mean, temperature's no hotter, than it has been on only the other days and the humidity is about the same around 75-80% but the fact there's no breeze today it's literally too hot to do anything we've just walked back from getting lunch and we were both piss wet through with sweat after less than five minutes of walking and um, unfortunately yeah like I say it's too hot to do anything other than lie in the shade and read a book which is um, what I'm going to do pretty good choice how to build a car, Adrian Newey. Um, that's pretty much how I'm going to spend the rest of my afternoon until we go uh, sea fishing later on this evening. So, out into the sauna. Oh, look, it's that hot, even my sunglasses are steaming up, as is the GoPro camera lens. So, probably a good time to end this little section now. You're going to tell them all about your fantastic catch? I caught a fish. She caught, <laughs> she caught, she caught a fish. <laughs> Dan didn't catch fish, but I caught the fish. Uh, yeah, no fish caching for me. All of that was done by Piglet. But I caught the only fish on the boat. Well, out of everybody. But the poor fishy died. Fish killer. <laughs> Time for is it celebratory bubbles now, dear. Oh, your mum messaged me. <laughs> yeah, celebratory bubbles. Before lobster dinner to celebrate. the sunrise because we've watched the sunset <laughs> seemed apt Fair. my face is looking a bit pink now olive skin has not lived up to uh, the expected standards has it <laughs> i definitely feel joe for once last night you know when we were having a lobster for dinner yeah. i actually feel like i was the one that made the better choice because you know how we always go everywhere and you always end up with a better name yeah. and a better pudding and a better starter <laughs> and generally everything just because is. i try different things and you just stick with what you know <laughs> i like what i like but the grilled lobster last night i definitely think was better than the thermidor thermidor lobster yeah but i like cheese so what's better for me than lobster and cheese yeah but i like cheese as well but i still yeah, prefer to the level i like cheese i still preferred <laughs> the nice grilledness of it. It was good. Fresh. Yes. That was probably swimming around yesterday morning without a care in the world. Just like your fish. <clears throat> Until you murdered it. Hard life being a winner. <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you supposed to go to the gym just before? Yeah, but now I feel like I've earned my dinner. <laughs> Steady four miles on the treadmill today. So like that's that yacht over there was on about that. Oh gosh, yeah, it's a big one. Perhaps don't want to be among the peasants. 
I don't want to be one of the peasants and I don't have the eyeglass on it. Well, maybe that's what they've done. To be honest, I bet that yacht's probably not far off the size of this island. <laughs> It's quite nice actually being in the gym and watching the uh, rain just lash against the windows, although it only lasted about 10 seconds. It's like the other night when I ran out onto the uh, balcony. I was like, it's raining! <laughs> like you've never seen rain before. <laughs> rain fillers, a bit like Rain. Just about 30 degrees warmer. Even the rain on holiday is different. It's that tropical Mediterranean rain. <laughs> How rude. Thank you. How rude. <laughs> I've got my hat. Yeah, I'll put it in the bag. Look <laughs> for some post gym undersea delicacy. Gym sweat. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Now we are going 6.8 meter deep under the water. Amazing. 6.8. <laughs> <laughs> Fall over a flat beach as well. Thank you. Thank you. I'm clumsy, okay? I'm surprised I'm not falling over already. <laughs> I always fall over. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, that one. Uh, yeah. It's confusing. Don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, Should be you for underwater. Yes. <laughs> what? Maybe you could put that in your review. <laughs> My only complaint is I didn't say you. I've literally found nothing to complain about. So Thank far. you very much. Thank you. That's been, that was wonderful. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank you very much. We're back on Saturday, aren't we? At night time. Yes. <laughs> See, you See you later. later. Well, I'm not sweating after 10 oh, paces. Oh, wait, no, take it back. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sweating after 10 paces, so that's normally 
<laughs> a good sign. Um, so we're going to cross over? Thank you. Uh, hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll go and harass the other islanders for a bit, shall we? Hit the apple martinis too hard. No, it's because I can see you bringing the cattle. Come to the Maldives, they said. It would be nice weather, they said. Back at the spa today for a massage. Mr. I hate massages has been looking forward to his next massage. He obviously wants uh, some hands upon his body. Which massage are you going for today, dear? A massage, a massage. Uh, you don't want those legs work. relaxing at the spa. After a nice breakfast. Only got one more, potentially two more breakfasts today. It depends on what time we get picked up on Sunday morning. But it is too quickly coming to an end and we're going to have to leave paradise soon. But at least we get to see the babies soon. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Okay, you can take your things here. Yeah? Mm. So I can show everyone back home my message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please you talk about you can put down your watch. Okay, again, your phone too. It will fell down, yeah? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thank the sexy you. underwear again. Oh, yes, the sexiest. For the last day. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is storm number two of the day. Come to the Maldives, they said. It'd be nice and sunny, they said. And don't get me wrong, the weather's been absolutely phenomenal here for the entirety of our trip. We woke up this morning to um, a really quite intense tropical storm that uh, was actually <clears throat> shaking the villa and uh, we were genuinely, genuinely for about five minutes really, really concerned that the roof was going to come off given how violently the villa was shaking. Uh, at the minute, whilst it's not really raining that heavily, the swell on the sea is quite significant and I've noticed one of the boats in the harbour has actually uh, broken its anchorage and is off floating on its own, doing what it wants in the rough seas. We've got a power cut. We just sat in our bar on our last night, enjoying our espresso martinis and Uno. Absolutely. In the dark. Absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> it's not. A, not I think it adds to it, but hey ho.